You had a limp mic? I had limp I had limp mic syndrome. Oh. Oh. I, I was like, because I play with it so much. Right. It's tired. I'm like, yeah, yeah she's like, I'm like grabbing the thing the whole time. Okay, that's great. Oh, that's all my crap. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's it's kind of just. Thank you. That's good. It's it's nice to have friends like you guys to help me stay stiff. Hello. Oops. Hello. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. I'll come out right now. As I am on the phone finishing up our joke. Yeah, it's nice to have friends that keep you stiff. <laughs> Hi, this is Grubhub. <laughs> I don't know why I would have just waited. Okay. Oh, that's really sweet, Connor. Okay, let's run it. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to MAP? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9-11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania. Touch grass, might I suggest. We're just going to dive right in today. Go ahead, and, go ahead and rip off the bandit. Me? I mean, go ahead and, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. It's me, Connor, and... And I'm Brooklyn. Um, we are so happy to be here, and Connor's working on um, splitting up some tater tots that he got us this morning, which is so sweet because he's had a busy morning and he needs to be fed. So sustenance. please sustenance. So please um, give us some grace in terms of eating tater tots because I can't watch somebody eat tater tots and not have them, and Connor does need them for his health and well being this morning. Well, we talked last week about tater tots. Mm hmm. And about how we don't see them enough. Yeah. And God works in mysterious but direct ways. This is manifestation. Mm -hmm. I know. Oh, I didn't even think of that. But you know what's weird? Huh? And we'll get into this shortly. Manifestation is a life hack. It is a life hack. Which Spe brings us to the topic of today's episode. Life hacks. Life hacks. As well as urban legends, which the more that we... So we posted last week about... Asking people for life hacks and urban legends. Mm -hmm. Turns out no one knows what anything means. No. I don't know what anything means. I think that there's a lot of confusion around what a life hack is, especially um, me being one of the people who's incredibly confused. It's confusing to figure out what's a life hack and what's just something that you do while you're living your life. You know, I guess a life hack is something that makes is supposed to make life easier. Okay, life hack by definition on dictionary.com. A strategy or technique adopted in order to manage one's time and daily activities in a more efficient way. Like yeah. the what people one person's life hack isn't always another person's life hack. Right. I think we're both right because we mm -hmm. were saying my life hack is ordering ice so I don't have to fill up my ice trays. Whereas Connor said that's not a life hack. It doesn't feel like a life hack. A usually simple and clever tip or technique for accomplishing something with a familiar and more. It doesn't feel like a life hack right, to but me. Cause I guess technically it is for me because yeah. I find that to be easier and more, more efficient. time efficient as See, well like, as just less daunting. Yeah. See, like that would make sense for me if you're like, I'm on my way home. I'm going to order the ice so that by the time I get home, it's there. Right. That would feel more life hacky to right. me. but. I'm pretty laid back yeah. today, so I don't, I guess, I, yeah, that's a life hack. Well, someone responded to that and said the hack is actually filling up your ice cube trays so you don't have to buy ice. That's So see, that's, that's what, what I'm saying, doing. like, DSDF, different strokes for different folks, a life hack looks different to everyone. So that's interesting when you really think about it from that perspective. Yeah, it is. It's really interesting. I told everyone, like, my, my example for you that I gave you was, I've been doing this thing where when I go on trips, and usually when I go somewhere, I'm staying with someone. Mm -hmm. So... My life hack is that I do laundry at their house on my last day. So when I pack my bag to leave, I get home and my clothes are clean and I just put them away. That makes sense, but hear me out. I'm listening. Either way, you're washing your clothes. It's more daunting for some reason when like you're at home and you get home and you have to go about your day versus like when I was at my grandma's house last week, I had not, it, not shit going on. Right. So <coughs> for me, I think the opposite would be true. Like I don't want to spend my time doing laundry when I'm at my 
away destination. I'd rather do it when I'm home. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. Chalk it up to DSDF, I guess. Chalk it up to DSDF. I gotta stop eating. I I have to stop eating. I think so. Let me close my box. Close your box because it's going to be too tempting. Far too tempting. Life hacks are a social construct. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a hungry little rat today. You're a hungry little boy. So moral of the story, life hacks are social constructs that are socially constructed based off of your personal preference. That being said, let's hear some people's personal preferences. Okay, ready? I screenshotted so many. Wait. What? Not us diving right in today. No, I know. It's freaky, right? (laughs) I've never done. I'm like. Guess how I opened the pod. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Brooklyn Connor Make a Podcast. That's never happened in the history of the pod. You know, it was funny yesterday, just to take us off trop- off topic, off topic really yeah, quick. Yeah, take us off topic. <sighs> to take us, um, what are those lines that go across the globe? Tropic of Capricorn? Tropic of Cancer? Latitude and Longitude? The Tropic of Capricorn. I've never of heard cancer. of that. Did you have a geography class in high school? I had a geography class in every year I have never year even of my life. come close to a geography curriculum. You're, this is going to blow your mind. Mm-hmm. I had We all had to take a geography. So there's the tropics really quick. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll see the tropic of both. Oh, no. you'll Yeah. Tropic of Cancer, which seems to go through South America, Africa, and then. South Asia. South Asia. Yeah. Are they just like and then, parallel to the equator? I don't really remember the point of them. Like. It's like if you're in the middle of those, the equator's in the middle. You know right, what the equator is, I right? do. Oh, yeah, I just said it. When? Five seconds ago. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, you must have. Um, the Tropic of Cancer is the most northern latitude on Earth where the sun can appear directly overhead. The Tropic of Capricorn is the most southern latitude on the Earth where the sun can appear directly overhead. Yeah. When is the sun not overhead? When it's below our heads. Nighttime. Oh, well, Yeah. Yeah, well, that's on God. <laughs> You've always said that yeah, about I've, the Tropic I've, of Cancer in addition I've, to I've Capricorn. always said that the Tropic of Cancer is the most another attitude in life where you can, you know, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Took the okay. words out of my mouth, okay. Google. Cool. Yeah, I uh, don't remember how that happened, but what I was saying was yesterday on Kelsey's podcast, she was like, I don't even think we finished one sentence, and I had to apologize because I was like, that's unfortunately just like how I roll. Right. If something, not your fault. No, it's not my fault. DSDF. Mm-hmm. We got to the last 30 seconds of her podcast and she goes, crap, I got. I need you to pull something out of this bag so we can do one of my topics. Oh, I love those bags. I love those bags. Everyone go listen to Connor's episode of Circle Time. I, I of course. Pod is great. I got my, yeah, Kelsey Kreppel, Kelsey Co. Um, I got my worst question. I hate what, what are the one, what is the one that you'd bring to an abandoned island? I mean, deserted island. Oh, I have my three items right on the top of my head. She asked for 10. I was like. Um, my phone. She's like, you don't have Wi-Fi. I was like, okay, then I don't need. I need I my guess phone I need a gun. <laughs> just to press, just to scroll. Yeah, scroll need, aimlessly at, without Wi-Fi. Yeah, I, I, I'll look through my camera roll. Guess what? Yeah, but Brooke, you've been on a flight. At some point, you're like, I can't keep going through my camera roll. I could, I, I could go through my camera roll for the rest of my life. I think and find something new every single time. I just do it so often when, when you're you have the airplane Wi-Fi mm-hmm. and it turns out it only I, allows oh, you to send texts. Oh, I know. And then all of a sudden you have that one friend that like you never talk to and they're suddenly like, what are you eating right now? What did you eat today? Uh-huh. It's like they're, they're on a flight and right. all they have is wife. Right, right. So why don't you take it from here? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay. We're back to life Here's hacks. a good one. Okay. Hit that me. also like it might just like do more harm than it does good. Throw spaghetti on the wall to see if it's done cooking. Is that, does that work? Well, you would be able does to tell stick? if it's like sticky as well as like loose that doesn't loose and limber you know okay i'm sure you've heard the saying throw spaghetti at the, against I've the wall ne- and see if it's, i've never if heard sticks. that no that's like that's like throw ideas at the wall and see if it's sick yeah i've like never heard it, it in terms of spaghetti it's a common way to describe the process of testing many different tactics at the same time and if it doesn't work it falls to the floor right i had no idea about that hell yeah to me i'm like isn't it just easier nah. to put it in your mouth? Yeah, I'm, I would rather burn my mouth and put it in my mouth. Right. If it yeah. sticks, it's done. Yeah, I would trust my mouth more than my wall. This doesn't feel like a life hack, though. 
That's what I'm saying. Like, how does it make but it, it any could... easier? Then you got to scrape all the right, goo off right. your wall. That's what I'm saying. Do you have a life hack for, for goo on your wall, too? Exactly. I hope you do. I, I hope... That's what I'm saying. That's why I said I think it would do more harm than good. I hope you have a plan B for the my goo on your wall. My life hack is actually put it, just putting it in my mouth. Imagine like an Italian that's renting an apartment. They do not get the security deposit back because their their walls are full of full of gluten. We should ask Vito what he does. Oh, Vito! Let's... He came in the door. <laughs> Write that down so we can ask him that next time we see him. This podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time. All in one place, all on your terms. That's right. Get started with one of Squarespace's professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. Then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make any Squarespace template do what, whatever you want, so your idea, brand, or business could stand out online on every device. Plus, Squarespace allows you to sell your products on an online store as well also. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. If you're looking to grow your business, Squarespace has insights that help you learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. You can also improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. That's right. Again, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash B and C to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's www.squarespace.com slash B A N D C to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay. You ready for another one? This one really confused me. I couldn't me. tell you the last time I wrote something down with a pen or a pencil. I don't remember how to hold a pencil. I had to sign my name on a CVS thing. And I was like, I guess I'll do cursive. Yeah. Look like I was get actively in a car accident. Are you fluent in cursive? No. I don't. I can do two letters. I was like, what? How do you do an N? I don't know. I got and from the O. Couldn't get to, from the O to the N. I just started a new line. I can do an L and an I, lowercase. I remember thinking, like, if, if my cursive is not connected... The life is pointless. Right. If my N is not connected to my O, I might as well go straight, go live on the streets. I make up my cursive. I'll just do like normal you letters. You can. I'll do normal okay, letters that are squiggly. Okay, our other t- topic today is like urban legends, which I'll get into, which I'll get into. But cursive is whatever you want it to be. Cursive That's is, what I, cursive, yeah. Cursive is not a language. No, it's not. It's a font. It's a font. Doctors are the perfect example. They're not writing shit. Yeah. It's they're, a font. They're doing their own thing and they call in your prescription. And the people are like, oh, yeah, I know what this is. The doctor calls them as soon as you leave. Font. Okay. Curse of his fake. Yeah, get this. You ready? Yeah. The travel perfume is the same size. I have one more thing. I'm okay. so sorry about yeah, cursive. Yeah, you no, know, you're good. Thanks. <laughs> when, they, when you're signing an official document and they go, sign here, also print below. Choose your battles. Right. Which am I doing? I don't have all day to be writing my name. And do you also want me to write it in bubble letters? I kind of get that. Why? Because your signature is like the official. I guess. Like, yeah. Stamp of approval confirmation. Yeah. And then I don't know about you, but like my signature is not, not indicative legible. of my name at all. It's just a squiggle and like a very faint B that you can make out. So the print is what you can actually read. Okay. I can read that. I can read it too. Let's read it at the same time. I, I never, never thought, thought I would practice a lost, lost art, but, but you're, you're looking, looking at it. it. Apparently, Apparently, cursive writing, writing is now on the on endangered, the endangered list. list. Ooh, I kind of lost it at the end. but so You have to squint. That's yeah. get worse, actually. Okay, you Anywho, ready for the Yeah, back? hit me with the next one. Travel perfume is the same size as a vape. I refill the bottle and it fits in every small bag. The bottle of what? I guess she's taking out a, <coughs> her vape apart and putting perfume in it. I think it's the opposite. I think she's putting vape juice in her perfume bottle. What's vape juice? Vape juice is what goes into your vape. A weed vape or a, a nicotine vape? That's vape juice. I think it's probably nicotine. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I know what, what makes up a vape. So like a refillable vape, not a disposable vape. I'm like thinking of like a, a or, puff bar. No, they have bigger vapes where you put the juice in. Like that. Like you put juice Never in seen there. one of those in my life. Yeah. That looks like a Keurig. 
No, it's oh, vape. so you put vape juice in a perfume so that you don't. She puts it in her perfume, but you can can you not travel with the vape juice if it's the same? I think you should maybe look into if you can just travel with your vape juice. Well, vape juice isn't illegal. Not at all. So why wouldn't you be able to travel with your vape juice? That's what I'm saying. Maybe she oh, doesn't like realize. Why even? Maybe she's underage and her parents. She doesn't want her parents. Or seeing. here it is. She's traveling with her vape. No, just carry. Yeah, just bring your vape juice as well. Put put your vape juice in your bag. Is vape juice over four ounces? Does it come in over four ounces? No, it looks so. Tiny. Is it like a huge bottle of like? She said it's the same size as her perfume. Yeah, so I'm not I'm not following this hack at all. Power to you. Unless though. it's THC, but still, then just carry the I, little THC. I don't. Yeah, because that's like, illegal. I don't you're saying give anyone any advice Maybe here? But like talking about vape juice because it's illegal. No one is gonna. No one is gonna stop you for your weed. At no, I, I hate to. I hate not. to break. Can tell you that right to, now. I hate, I hate. Hate to blow your mind here, yeah. but. I don't even smoke weed. I have a, I have weed in my backpack yeah. every time I go to the airport. Yeah. Can I say that? Uh, yeah, you're I good. like forgot about it. Yeah. It's probably from college. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. And the thing is, everyone's like, the drug dogs. The drug dogs are not They're smelling for, for drugs. They're cocaine. looking for bombs. Yeah. And They're not looking for cocaine. Yeah. I thought they were looking for more harder drugs. Like They're heroin. looking for bombs. It's an airport. You're not going to die if you do. Well, maybe. You're not going to die if you do. Maybe. Right. I don't know. Like drug. <laughs> <laughs> you might. <laughs> Connor going on record, you're not going to die if you do heroin. You're not going to okay, die right. if you do some molly at the airport. Have fun. I think they're looking out for like drug smuggling. If you have massive amounts of cocaine yeah. on your person, maybe I, the yeah. drug dog might pick it up. Right. But if you have a little bit of cocaine at the airport, I'm just uh, kidding. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No, I think um, <laughs> we've all been there. I think they're smelling for drugs. I think that's the whole thing. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what I said. And then you said they're smelling for bombs. I'm so sorry. They're smelling for bombs. They're not smelling for drugs. I think they are smelling for a, ho- a lot of drugs. Oh, computer. Let's see. Let's see what. Um, oh, Karen. Karen. I was going to ask what computer wife. wife was called. Yeah. Computer wife. Yeah. Um, I also. So like f- freshman year of college, I had this. I was using the same backpack for like class as travel, whatever. I guess I would still be doing that. But I had taken a backpack camping and I had a, a Keystone light at the bottom of my, or Natty Light, at the bottom of my backpack. Like, forgot about it. Obviously, my bag gets pulled for liquids. I am shaking, full body shaking, because my bag gets pulled for liquids. And Wait, how old were you? Like, 19. Okay. And I'm shaking, like, had no criminal record at that at this time. And so I'm like, Fuck, like, what's going to happen? They're going to take me, they're going to arrest me, because I have one Keystone Light that probably has less alcohol in it than a water bottle. And... The, the oldest woman that's walking this planet took my bag and goes, natural light. I love soda pop. You can't travel with this. Oh, you got was, really oh no. I literally felt like Pablo Escobar leaving that TSA station. I was like, I just Why got him? a huge, like the biggest drug dealer ever in the world. Oh, you don't know but about you didn't have any. No, I do. I, you didn't have, I any. felt like him. Getting away from the cops okay. because I didn't get in trouble for having an alcohol on me. Okay. Are you not? No, I get it. Okay. I get it. A, TSA security officers do not search for marijuana or other illegal drugs, but if any illegal substance is discovered during security screening, TSA will refer the matter to a law enforcement officer for more prohibited items. Go to the What Can I Bring page on TSA.com. Yeah. Total. Oh, drug dogs. At the airport, marijuana, cocaine, crack cocaine, heroin, ecstasy, meth, ketamine, LSD. Forget what I said earlier. Do you think, th- but do you think they could smell up inside like the vape pen? Like, can they, can their scent, can their sense of smell penetrate the walls of my binky to the I don't oil? know. I don't know if, if their nostrils are penetrating your walls. Right. But. Because I'm sure they could penetrate like a bag that's filled with like actual like clumps of weed, but not necessarily like the the binky yeah i mean drug dogs have have got have since like the gods they they they're, it's like their sixth yeah. and seventh sense wow they have triple they're the sense really talented really yeah they're really talented yeah i would hate to have that much smelling power no, oh god if i Blessing get and a curse if i get a whiff of something i was in an elevator leaving dear media don't even tell me yesterday Don't. Even oh tell you would have don't tell me. You would have held your breath till you passed out yeah. just to get through it. Don't even tell me. I, I cannot find my car, obviously, because I'm in, in a parking garage. And someone in the elevator had thrown up recently. <gasps> no. And so all I could smell was their putrid breath. And I'd rather smell something than breathe through my mouth and feel like I can taste it. Mm, so I was just honor. smelling in 
like a movie theater vomit smell. That's like so bad. In That's an elevator. so bad. Okay. Oh, TSA canines are sing- the, the single purpose are single purpose dogs trained to detect explosives. What our dogs do is some of the hardest thing training, some of the hardest testing. Okay, so now I'm confused. I think you look for a little bit of everything. They look for a little bit of everything. I think we can all agree on yeah. that. They're verse yeah. in what they're smelling out. Totally. Um, okay, well, good to know. You ready for another hack? Yeah. This one's really just like a, this is a life hack by definition. Look, hand me the a life hack. A cut and dry life hack. Coffee in ice cube tray so cold yeah. brew doesn't water down. Now, talk to me when I can order that. You can't order frozen coffee ice. You should be able to. But I think because because you're not needing coffee ice as as much as you could, I think that you could find yourself having an having an a burst a of energy plug? and you could you could maybe fill up your ice container with coffee. But then it, that takes so long for it to freeze. That well, you the thing leave, that you, sucks you, about no, ice. No, 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 you make the coffee and mm-hmm. like leave it out so it's room temp and then once it's room temp then you put it in the ice tray. But it does take Yeah, but I, yeah, but I'm saying if I want to make a coffee right now it would take so long for my a cold. If I want to make a cold coffee with cubes made of coffee right now, it would take okay, I, a while to I really, freeze up the cube. I yeah, I can't help you. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. If I ordered them, I it'd be easier. So that's a business idea. I just don't see like that is one we're just never gonna see eye to eye on, and I think we just chalk it up to DSDM. Yeah, that's fine. DSDF. Yeah. DSDF. Yeah. Hey y'all, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Tinder. Tinder's the world's f- most popular dating app for a reason, and there's so many possibilities that are just a match away. On Tinder, you have the most opportunities to find whatever it is you're looking for. It starts with a swipe. Yeah, it was without words, and, and we I finish each other's sentences. sentences. It starts with a swipe, for real. Let's talk about how hot transparency is. I have always said that to you. Yeah. With Tinder's latest feature, <laughs> Relationship Goals, you set your status on your profile to show others what types of connections you're looking for and can see what others are looking for. No more guessing. As well. No more guessing. Mm-hmm. Three words out of my mouth. Not only does Tinder give you complete control, but they also have the most safety features than any other dating app. Tinder has features like block contact or block profile, which allows you to block profiles even before matching. They also have video chat so you can meet your match before meeting IRL. That's in real life. It is. Tinder wants you to feel comfortable, by the way. 1.5 million Tinder users go on an IRL date every single week. Other apps are hard, but Tinder is easy and fun. Explore all the possibilities for yourself. Tinder. What were you saying earlier? Um, was it It Starts With a Swipe? It was, yeah. Download Tinder today. Okay. Different this strokes, is different interesting folks. and I didn't know. Put eye drops on your zit and it will be less red. Let's talk about because it. Because eye drops constrict your blood vessels. Yeah. Don't you? Is that true? Um, it makes total sense. Yeah. But I feel like I would have known that by now if it worked. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like we've always had the like at home life hacks. I know one, mm-hmm. one life hack. Proactive, probably. Probably. If you could say that. Yeah. I would probably use proactive if I had okay. the decision. Let's see via Google. While this skin hack can be useful if you have a red pimple that may be difficult to cover up with makeup products, experts do not recommend using eye drops on your pimples. It doesn't get to the root cause of acne. Okay, but, okay, but, that's, but I'm you're not, not asking I'm not for looking the root, for the root cause. cause. I'm looking to minimize the I need a quick redness. fix. Yeah. I need a quick fix. Imagine how good Lumify is then. Here's the deal. Great. Yeah. I'm, I'll try it. I'll try it and let you know because I have, you can't see, like I look like I have just like the rosiest little cute nose right now. Uh-huh. It is a cystic pimple. So what there's, well, while on top of the surface, cute. Below the surface, there's a frenzy of activity, and no, it hurts. No, but that's not gonna, it's not help, gonna help if it's not on there, the but surface. There, but there's at redness. All? That's what I'm saying. If I wanted the redness to go away, I'd probably use Lumify. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess we'll have to test it and see. Yeah, I wish I had it with. My me. mom used to say, "Put toothpaste on pimples overnight." I, think I have eye drops in my bag. Do you have a pimple? No, but you just said you do. Is it red? Can you? You see my... just said it's red. I can't see it because you're right there, and you can see it. Come a little bit closer. Come a little closer, then no, you not see. At all. Yeah, so that's something to try out at home. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll post it on the Instagram story. Next pimple I get. Did you ever put toothpaste on your zits? Did you hear me the ten seconds ago or no? <laughs> I guess not. What did you, you say? You did though because what I did said, you say? What did I say? I said I said I used to, my mom used to tell me to put toothpaste on my zits. I didn't hear that. I know. Well, you did because you repeated it. Play it back. Roll the tapes. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, no, I, I did. And I don't think it ever worked. I don't think so either. But the, I like, I, I love. I need to a, hold my mic I, anymore. I, I love a pimple cream that actually completely covers is it. Like you, I don't see it. It's buried. It's buried. So I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not, not touching it. And that I think is the the effectiveness of toothpaste. And that's honestly why I wear pimple patches all the time. So I just don't pick, even though like some of them don't even work, you know? You know what the best remedy I've found is besides like tea tree oil proactive and CeraVe and stuff is um, tea tree oil and salt water. Yes. Because it tightens your skin. It pushes all that shit out. Yeah. Um, That brings me to another life hack that someone said. If you need clear skin for the next day, say you're going on a date or need photos taken, cry the night before. Tighten your skin. For that salt water. Oh, that actually brings me to something else. What? Hickeys. Talk to me about hickeys. I'll talk to you about them. Spoon? No. Spoon is a damn myth. I don't care what anybody says. Maybe it works eventually. The best thing you can do is good luck finding one, but you take a wooden pencil with an eraser on the back and you take the pencil and you put it against your neck like this and you push really hard and you twist it in kind of little motions like this in your finger like this, like you're rolling a Seems booger. Like it would make it worse. Mm-mm. Because the same way that you just said like the, the redness is like your blood vessels. Get, it's a bruise. Uh huh. So the more you loosen it up. Put eye drops on it. Put eye drops on your head. No, put, um, the pencil and twist it and it loosens it up it goes away within like an hour okay the worst of hickeys even the worst of hickeys interesting yeah we'll have to try it out yeah give me uh, a hickey right yeah, now and we'll try it later no, on no it's episode. okay actually <laughs> <laughs> i got a life hack that i screenshotted because someone dm'd it because it was really long what but keep looking up yours and then and then i'll see if i find it before you okay i'm working on um right now my phone is uh, i have another one okay right go now. ahead hit it. it hit it hit it this one's super interesting. Rebundle socks before putting them in the hamper to make sure one doesn't get lost. I do that. Sure, but I was under the impression they're getting lost inside of the washer. I where thought else the washer would they be? Oh. Was sucking them away. Oh, this person is saying bundle your socks before you put them in the in wa- the hamper. Before no, that's wrong. I rebuke that because they're getting lost inside of the washer. So. They're not getting lost inside the washer. Yeah, they are. Your They'll roommates be. are stealing them. Your roommates are stealing one of your socks. You Rebundle sock alone. before putting them in the hamper to make sure it wasn't, it wasn't getting lost. Also, are they even getting washed if they're bundled up together? No, right? Yeah, that doesn't seem. No, you need to You need, you to, need go to loose. You need to debundle. Debundle. Move forward with debundle. And go solo. Yep. And get back to me. Yeah, that one's not working for me right now. At this time. This one I adore. I don't pay attention to gas prices. That way I can't get mad when they keep going up. She took the words out of my mouth that I didn't even know I had. You don't what? She doesn't what? I don't pay attention to gas prices. That way I can't get mad when they keep going up. Here's the I didn't th- even know I was hacking the mainframe. And I do that all the time. Here's the thing. What am I going to do? Not buy gas? Right. I got to get there. Right. So that, that, my is, par- a, my that parents, is a good hack. My number one thing my parents say when they get to California Protecting from Texas, your they go, oh my God, look at these gas prices. Uh-huh. like. Right. What do you want me to say right. to that? Like, right. I'm not in charge of the There's gas prices. Nothing you can do. Uh, yeah, look at them. Nothing look you at can the, do. Look at these gas prices. Yeah. And then move on. Exactly. Cause... Good point, Connor. Yeah. Yeah, I love this because that about is a, that protecting is... your protect your peace. I also, you know, that's like that. Chalk it up to like anytime you really need to fill the air and you're done with weather. Say, how about these gas prices? Obviously, like mm-hmm. read the room. Make mm-hmm. sure you don't have like an audience member that's going to go postal and mm-hmm. like the coffee shop or mm-hmm. something. Once, you know, Biden gets into the conversation, but I promise you Biden has not, does not know what the gas prices are either. <laughs> like he doesn't even know where he is right now. Yeah. Well, he's life hacking. He's life hacking. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Biden's been life hacking this whole time. By ignorance is bliss. Protect your peace. Biden <laughs> made up that quote. Ignorance is bliss. He seems like he's having like an awesome time to be honest. Yeah. He's protecting Except his peace. Stairs. That's for darn tootin' sure. Um, I got someone sent me a okay. long one. Let's see. Let's hear it. I'm going to read it, but I, I did not pre vet this. Oh, that's always scary, but go ahead. I'm going to read it. Yeah, Fuck give it. it a try. Okay. Honestly, this is this one is for relationships, but my wife and I have a point system. Let's not read this. I, read one of yours. No, read it. Points for what? <laughs> read, read it sentence by sentence. Okay. Every day you start with 100 emotional points oh. and throughout the day, <laughs> things that 
happen, take points away. Mm. Work may take 50 plus points. Traffic may take 10 plus. It's all relative to that day. Then when we get home, we communicate with each other how tired we are based on how many points we have left. If it was my turn to cook, but work kicked my ass, I'll say, hey, it's been a super long day. I have like three points left (laughs) and cooking is going to take at least 10. We got to order food tonight. I'd be saying that every every night night then. (laughs) It's an honor system. It must be an honor system. And that helps us communicate with each other more better than, oh, better than, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to. I'm tired. There are a few things that can add points too, but it's different for each of us. Our marriage with two kids is really easy. And this is a big part of it. Okay. I think more. Yeah. It's a, it's a Brene Brown thing, actually. She, oh, she's great. Who's though. Brene Brown? She's great. Motivational, like. Life. Life therapist, coach. Okay. She has so many TED Talks. I want to. I want to hold I think that. That thought. could work for some oh, people. Oh, look at her! Yeah, she is she's, an inspirational. She's the teacher. it girl. She's the it girl. Yeah, Brene Brown. Yeah, and with a name like Brene Brown, you were born to to coach. That name rolls off my mm-hmm. tongue like soy sauce. Okay, the reason that I'm excited about that one is because there's a man with a wife and two kids writing into BNC MAP. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even. That's think why about I that. screenshotted it. I didn't even it. think about that. And I love you. I hope. Um, Adore. Maybe that was a Brene Brown. Maybe like I'm. I'm excited to read that out because that probably resonated with like I like the emotional system. I don't think it would work for me. No, because I don't tell the truth. Jill and I do it. You do? You? Yeah. So we'll, we started because she saw the Brene Brown TikTok, and then she'll come home after a long day of teaching students all day, and I'll be at work, and then she'll be like, "I'm at twenty percent. What are you at?" And I'll be like, "I'm at sixty percent." But it has to be an honor system. Oh, you mean you're not keeping records? <laughs> yeah, because my ass would be like. I feel bad, but I'm going to say 10%. The thing is, I think I wake up at 3%. So I think that's my issue, is that I'd be in the negatives by the time I got home every day. You know? Yeah. But I see how it works for some people. That's great. You do have to find out what works best for you. I guess Brene Brown's Brene Brown? I, job, I, need, I need her to drop an I, album. Her, her career, her occupation is providing people with life hacks. She's a hacker. Brene Brown and, and Joe Biden go on tour. Live show win. Hacks. Hacks. Capital H. Hacks with Brene and Biden. With, with Brown, Brown and, Biden. and Biden. Free idea. Mic drop. Um, wow. I, I'm so, For some reason, I'm addicted to Brene, saying Brene Brown. Okay. Brene do you want to say it a few times? Yeah. Brene Brown. Go ahead. I'm going Brene Brown mode over here. At what points are you at right now? I'm feeling good. I'm at like 98. Because of my two hours of traffic driving 35 miles this morning at 5 a.m. Oh, how many points am I at right now? Yeah. I'm going to be like 15. Have a tot. Have a tot. I have. Have a tater tot. I have. 15 because I didn't, I I don't sleep Tuesday nights anymore because I have some sort of psychological barrier. Right. For whatever reason. And something else. Do you recall? I don't remember. No. Man, maybe I'm at maybe I'm at like fifty. That's a pretty big, like flexible range. What was I? Fifteen. Oh. So you're actually thirty five really... points higher than you originally thought? You seem like at mm-hmm. least fifty, maybe sixty. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Like I'm not I can't get I can't get a reading on my point system right now. You're not in touch with your body. I'm not time? in touch with my points, my emotional not points your, right now. You're not Brene Browning over there? No, I'm I am i am not. Well, I had this coffee and an empty stomach, so I'm about to Brene Brown my pants. <laughs> so That's I'm, good. I'm looking forward to our 10 minute break in between this and close friends so I can have some okay. thoughts. Do you want to Brene Brown now? No, so I'll hold my Brene Brown <laughs> for a bit. More comfortable as we move forward in the podcast? Nah. Okay. Sounds good. Good. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Proactive. Exciting news, guys. Proactive has just launched their newest skincare innovation, Proactive Clean. Proactive Clean is a gentle skincare routine formulated to clear mild acne to occasional breakouts for sensitive skin. It's proactively formulated with skin-loving ingredients like azelaic acid, bacuchiol, and chamomile. And proactively formulated without parabens, phthalates, sulfates, cyclic silicones. Yes, cyclic silicones, and 100 plus no-no ingredients. 
Get that clean skin feeling with Proactive Clean. Proactive is America's number one clear skin routine, and dermatologists developed and tested with clinically proven ingredients. Proactive has easy-to-use routines formulated for all skin types that has helped over 20 million people on their clear skin journey. Proactive's three-step skin care routine help break the acne cycle and give you great, clear-looking skin. I know finding a skincare routine that is both easy and actually works can be difficult. But all my friends who've used Proactive have said it's simplified their routine and made their skin feel so much healthier. Plus, they said they haven't felt more confident in their skin than after they use Proactive. You can go to Proactive.com now and take Proactive Skin Quiz to figure out what routine is right for you. Proactive has been taking the guesswork out of clearing skin since 1995. Go to Proactive.com now and use the exclusive promo code that we have for you B and C to get 20% off your first order. That's P R O A C T I V dot com and use code B A N D C to get 20% off your first order. Oh, see, this is like an idea of a life hack hmm. right here. So some some people paint their keys on their keychain. I'm always so scared. I'm going to get somewhere and I'm going to be in a tight spot. Someone's coming back behind me with a knife and I'm going to f- have to fumble all my, my, my janitorial key ring and get in my door. Why are we painting them? Because one's your mailbox, one's your car right, key, one's right, your home key. Right. Look okay. at all these keys. Oh my God, Ryan, you're a hacker too. They have oh. these on Amazon. You just color your... You color your things. Or if you have a nail polish, you could do that today. Um, I went to get my keys copied Yeah. two days ago. Left the copies and the original at the at the kiosk. Okay, get this. Mm-hmm. I went to get, get... I made... I took... I lost my keys at my house. Tell me roommates, I need to borrow someone's key. Yep. Go make copies. Left it there, and I didn't push it in all the way when I made the copies, mm. so they all came out false. So I had to wait three hours. I ha- there is for a- them to get home, and then I had to tell them I left your key. Yeah, those machine. Did you go to one of those machines? Yeah, I found a great. I've got a great key guy for you. You got a key guy. I got a key. You guy. got a key person. I got a key person. Every day you come in here more and more rich. It's three bucks. I guess got a key three, guy? yeah, but it was an amazing day because I went to, I tried to go to like Ralph's or something to copy my keys. Couldn't find a parking spot. So just left. And then I was driving here and then on the side of the road saw key a, key, a key kiosk, a kiosk, a key, if you will. Like and I've been going ever since. It's awesome. You, what do you, how often do you need to go to the key kiosk? Um, well, I need to make copies of my keys every time I get a new person to watch Frankie because all my friends keep losing my keys. Right. So. You should make like six and keep them in like a bag in yeah. your car. Well, there's about 16 of my own keys that I've left at that kiosk. So I've got to go pick them up. Anyway. Right. This right. is sweet. Someone said, I watch your podcast while I do dishes because I hate doing dishes, but I love you guys. Which is so sweet and so true. Okay. I used to do that to go to the gym. I would only watch my favorite show when I was on the treadmill. I used to I do that at my myself. horrible, horrible job. Yeah. I hope there's someone out there right now on Excel inputting things like the most monotonous task that like definitely should be aut- autonomized via AI. Uh, unfortunately, we put a lot of us out of work at entry level positions, but I used to hate that. And I always just put on people's podcasts and it was like, I was excited to get on Excel because it looked like I was super busy, but I was really just listening to podcasts. Now I have one that I put in my phone last night. Give it's kind of different, but like kind of the same. If you hate doing laundry, Plan your laundry for a night that you have something fun happening that you're maybe going to have drinks at or something and start drinking while you're doing your laundry and turn on music. And it's like a pregame and you have like an activity. It's like you take your folding your laundry and hanging it up, but you're kind of like a little bit drunk. So Alcoholic life hour. Hack, life hack. <laughs> drink whenever there's something that you don't really want to do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hi. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> so perfect. I have, I think that's fun. Yeah, like totally. Like when I had a big essay due in college, I would always like <laughs> go to the pregame, come home, type my essay and it, I would get the best grades because I was, my, was, my inhibitions were lowered. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I could write an essay after a cocktail or two. I, well, DSDF. Yeah. Hey man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's one. And I, I don't think it's a life hack. And okay. You why. Hit me. I back into parking spots and driveways so I don't have to back out. The net <clears throat> energy you're spending backing in and then driving out is more 
from a net perspective well, than yeah. driving in head on and then backing out. Your gross time Your gross overall. time and energy overall is more when you're backing in. Well, we don't uh, know. 90% don't, of the time. Yeah, we don't know their skill level backing in. Some people are just like gods of backing in. Oh, oh, Ryan's like Ryan, off the back Ryan and self for Glenn. Ryan like, like hacked the, I'll see you the outside after frame. this. Um, but like for me, it does take longer. <clears throat> and... It's not like when I'm leaving a place, I'm not like, oh, I need to get the fuck out of here right. I'm not like robbing a bank, so I have time to back out usually. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not worth it to me to make it. Like, I'm not, you're not saving that much time because unless you're really good at ba backing in, it's going to take the same amount on the on the front end or on the back end to back out. That's what I'm saying. It, ev it evens it's out. It's even harder to back in than back now, out. Now, if you are someone who really likes the front of your car to show to everybody, by all means, back in. Right, but then that's just not a life hack. That's just you wanting to show the front of your car. I guess, okay, here's, and this is where we have a disconnect. Because if your life hack, if that's making your life better, like technically, no. I think it's about making your life easier. More efficient. Yeah. I don't think it's easier because like. Okay, more efficient. There's like, nothing efficient about wanting to show people the front of your like car. It's, it's, it's easier for rich people to get healthcare in the United States, but that's not a life hack to just have more money. Right. That's a different layer that we're not even accessing right now. Life no, hacks I think are having, I think, layered. Yeah. Speaking of, this one cracks me up. Okay, give it to me then. When your AirPods die, <coughs> swallow if them you whole. just put them back in the case for two minutes, they'll charge. <laughs> <laughs> if your phone dies, if you charge Plug it, it in. It will be charged yeah. more. Yeah. So I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate the time that was taken <laughs> you're more, you're more to send this like, in. I, do, I love well, it. You just wait till we get to the urban legends. It's straight up. Oh, I'll just tell you when we get there. It's straight up. Is like my parents lied to me. That's what all of them were. My parents used to say my dog ran away. It died. They they put it down. Right. I'm like that. You're, it's just your parents right. lying to you. Right. That's not like you know. A life urban hack. Legend. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I eat. Yeah. <laughs> Go facts on god yeah yeah sometimes when i'm sick i go to the doctor it's okay i could stop now i guess do you want more life hacks or do you want to move on to your urban legend no give me one more life hack. okay let I'm me get liking, one really I'm good liking the life hacks okay honestly. okay okay is everybody one... liking the, this kind of vibe here I, I feel like i'm liking the life hacks I, 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 like i haven't learned anything from anybody besides besides like honestly can i say something yeah you can Without getting in trouble? Is it a Yeah, you can. I always take my AirPods out and set them next to my AirPods case. Oh, I do too, Connor. So that might have been like a nice reminder. They're out of my case right now. My case is in my car. My AirPods are packed in my backpack. My case is just usually uncharged. No, I am always walk up to put my AirPods in for a run and my, my they're sitting right next to me, an inch away from my case dead. Every but you know time? what I simply do? Huh? Put them in for two minutes. Two minutes. That's all. It <laughs> two minutes is all it takes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Whoa, life yeah. hack. Hack alert. Okay, this I don't even know if this is Call true. Call me Brene Brown over here. This I don't know if it's true. Okay, hit me. Draw chalk around things you don't want ants going in. They can't pass chalk. That's true. I had no idea. Yeah, that's is true. Is it because the, the chalk, even though it's invisible to the naked eye, is actually like elevated for an ant? It's not invincible to the naked eye. You see chalk. I don't see elevation. Oh, do you see what I'm saying? Like, can a can ants, ants can crawl physically directly not up crawl? Like a wall, though, like ants can crawl it, up a wall. Is it, are they allergic to chalk? When a pheromone trail is disrupted by chalk or a line drawn by their path, the scent trail they were following is temporarily disconnected. So, like, oh, it's they a pheromone fall, issue. They fall. Yeah, it's all about pheromones at the end of the day. Okay. This one, maybe you could help me understand this can one. Can I do one redacted quote? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Mrs. All right, Mrs. Puff. What did I get? Six. Woo! And what did I need to pass? Six. Ooh, hundred. What? <laughs> you are amazing. It's crazy the things that stick <laughs> in your brain. But like, Isn't I took it? four years of Spanish and I can't say a sentence. Isn't it? It took me a while to remember "hola" yesterday. Hola. The way your brain works is awesome. And don't let ever don't let anyone ever tell you it's not, Connor. I won't. Okay. 
speaking of your awesome brain, maybe you can help me understand this. Sure. Wrap the waist of a pair of pants around your neck, <laughs> and if the ends line yes, up, per- I saw this. I saw and this. if the ends line up perfectly, they'll fit. My neck is not the same size. Do you have an extra pair? Of, my waist. Do you have an extra pair of pants sitting around? Me. Hmm. Do we? Yeah. If you go to the store, if you were maybe at, let me think of who would maybe give me a brand deal. No clothing companies want to work with me for some reason. Do do one you've already done a brand deal with. Okay, I've never Viore. done clothes. Oh, Viore. It doesn't work because they have an elastic waistband okay. mostly. How about try to just do like Gap? How about I do American Eagle? Oh, do it, man. Okay. Okay, say you're at American Eagle and you're getting a pair of jeans. I think this only works if you are getting like denim or something that doesn't stretch. And you take the two um, like farthest apart sides and you put it around your neck and you touch it. If it touches perfectly, it's gonna fit your waist perfectly. If it's too loose, if it goes over, it's too loose. It works. I saw my TikTok neck's about not it. the same size as my waist. I think that circumference blows people's minds. It it must. Girth blows people's minds. Oh, I guess I'm fitting inside of the pants via my waist, and my neck is surrounded by the pants. But I don't. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Okay. Here. Oh wait. Can we watch it? Yeah, see, this is the visual if you're on YouTube. If the waist fits perfectly around your neck, that means they fit. And like several people tried out, it worked every single time. If the corners touch, like so. Okay. If it's kissing, I believe, I, listen, I believe kissing it. corners, that means it works. That's a life hack. Yeah. That's a life hack. This one, this is a life hack. He's happy. Oh, precious. This is a life hack as well, what I'm about to tell you. What? God damn. I need Frozen to grapes in wine for a chilled experience without letting the water water it down. Are you obsessed with ice? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think of putting frozen grapes in your wine for a more chilled experience without watering it down? Sangria, maybe? That's diff- all different types of fruit. What did I? Oh, you know what? I, I don't think I, there are grapes in sangria. You know what, Brooke? I apologize to you. I love it. For what? I was in a really tough spot during COVID. Couldn't go get ice. So I had to use... Mm-hmm. I'd use frozen sausage for my water one time. Frozen frozen sausage. That your life would have been a lot easier if you ordered ice. Couldn't, because like, you couldn't touch anybody. Oh, uh, wow. No drivers were driving. Wait, you put frozen sausage in your water? Chet, you betcha. Okay, I loved... I actually have a TikTok about it. That yeah. Was, it was good. Because it gave... Like, who says that solids can't be... Like, like hint water? It's like a hint of watermelon. Who says I can't have a hint of apple applewood smoked sausage? I would say a lot of people would say that. I know, but maybe DSDF after all. Different it's strokes, a different con- folks. that we can't have sausage water. Yeah, sausage water. That every yeah. Why drag it out? Yes. Yeah. All right. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Julie. If you've ever had unprotected sex, forgot your birth control, had a condom break or just not sure, we're excited to talk about a new company that's giving emergency contraception a much needed rebrand. Julie is an FDA approved morning after pill that helps stop a pregnancy before it starts. Julie is aiming to be the emergency contraception company for the next generation, one of learning and acceptance, not stigma and shame. When it comes to complex and stressful choices around your health, they believe women deserve products that are easy to use in every way, easy to find, easy to take, easy to relate to and easy to understand. Julie stops your body from releasing an egg using the same active ingredient as Plan B or other morning after pills. Essentially, Julie works by preventing or delaying your ovulation. With no egg, there's no fertilization and therefore no pregnancy. And it's no risk to future fertility. Julie works best when taken right away or within 72 hours of unprotected sex. Julie just launched at CVS, but you can also find Julie at Target and Walmart stores across the U.S. You can also order it online to have for the future just in case. It's legal in all 50 states. You do not need an ID, prescription, or credit card to get it. Julie is a morning after pill brand that's working to increase access to emergency contraception for women across the country. Julie has a one-for-one donation program, and every time you purchase Julie at a store or online, the company donates one pill to someone who needs it. Julie also partners with over 25 organizations across the country to provide donations to those disproportionately impacted by health inequities. Right now, Julie's offering our listeners $10 off your online purchase. Go to juliecare.co slash B-A-N-D-C to get $10 off your online purchase for a limited time. That's juliecare.co slash B-N-D-C. Mm-hmm. 
Or if you need it right away, you can find Julie at your nearest CVS, Target, or Walmart today. Here's two I got right next to each other. And okay. I got a, tons of variations of these both. And this is an interesting conversation starter and a head scratcher. First one, let me finish both. First one, it's free if you pay by card. Second one, if you pay with cash, you don't lose any money. Which, I one, which feel, one is it? I feel that way with cash. cash. I don't carry cash. I don't feel that way with card. It's cash because you don't see anything coming out of you. You also account. like you have a credit card limit. Do people not look at their credit card limit, or do they just go over their credit card limit? Well, it's kind of <coughs> like gas prices. Like if you don't look, it's not there. Oh, I I don't have that. You look at your. Bank I statement? check all the time because I always assume it's going to get denied. I can't look. I also I'm watching a car wreck. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. I feel the credit card swiping. I more so than paying cash. Cash, I'm like, oh, I got cash. Oh, Gotta so get rid of it. You're saying you think when you buy things on a card, it's free. No, I'm saying cash. Like, what? I can't. I don't carry cash. You know. What, so, are you saying that it's free if you pay with card, or it's free if you pay with cash? I don't think either of them feel oh. free to me. But I do like. I would rather spend cash. Like, like if if there is a homeless person, I'm like, here's twenty bucks. You know, and like a lot. I think a lot of people would be like five. You know, but I'm like, I don't really want to hold cash. On my person because my wallet is this big for me cash is spending cash is cash is king free yeah, yeah that's you're not spending saying. money when you're spending cash that's what i'm saying okay that was a bad example but i'm saying like i feel more generous with cash you know for a tip at it like a yeah table, i'm like i'll just leave the 20 you know i don't want to i don't right, cause it's because like, i don't want dollar bills back. right you're wanting to have get more rid dollar of the cash bills anyway yeah i'm like i'll go play a claw machine 40 times I put clothes in the dryer with an ice cube and it gets the wrinkles out without having to steam. That's a good one. Is that true? Yep. That seems like it would just like be mayhem in the dryer. It would be loud, but just leave. <laughs> if you're pooping in public and have nowhere to put your bag, hang your bag around your neck. That feels cumbersome. Cumbersome. Walk me through that. I think that's the right word. Cumbersome. Like, like a nuisance a physical nuisance kind of i'm adding that to my list i don't know if that's the right definition now that you mention it okay cumbersome large or heavy and therefore difficult to carry or use yeah that's kind of right but what if it's like a tiny purse brooke look at my picture today on my phone what is it it's a picture of you i don't know what you're doing oh sorry could you put it closer to my eyes i don't know what that is I can't even begin to think of the context. We were on a plane to go see the Jonas Brothers, I think. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, sure. Yeah, I guess technically that's another one that's like, for me, it would be easier to put my bag on the ground. Eww. It is what it is. I'm not sleeping would, in bed with my bag. I would bag. need to hold it like this or put it on my lap. Yeah, I'd probably lap it. I don't know, Connor. I don't know either. Do you, Should we do some urban legends? Yeah. Just let me know when you're ready. This one I thought of you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should consider. Was spending too much money on Uber, so I just moved next to my favorite bar. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's a life hack. Yeah, that's a life hack. I guess if it's like the same rent and it's your favorite bar, that's awesome. I also was like moving based on my favorite bar. Yeah. My last place. I just realized that. I screenshotted this one for you too. Mm -hmm. I put peanut butter in a plastic bag and then put that bag in warm water so that I can drizzle peanut butter on my yogurt. Oh. And I thought of that for you because you love peanut butter and you could do it on your mush. Wow. They make peanut butter mush. Okay. Wouldn't you like to add peanut butter on top? To a different a dark chocolate sure. one I would. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. I love mush. I'm thinking about mush. I mean, there's a delicious steak sandwich right next to me, but I would maybe have some mush instead <clears throat> wow last one and then we yeah hit me hit me hit me wait i have an i have one in between because okay. it reminded me it was a it was a life act too they said and this one gave me chills up and down my body they said when your nutella or your peanut butter is almost out scoop some ice cream into it and use it as the ice cream container and then you get that experience complete full body chills that is a life hack that is a life we hack. should have written down the ones that we both like stamped as life hacks We'll have to watch the episode yeah. and pull it back up. Yeah, that's a good point. <clears throat> Last one. Instead of cutting carrots, I bite them into bite-sized yeah. pieces spit, and then spit them out in the yeah. salad. Don't even need to have like a Instead of shred, like those shredded carrots yeah. that are good in salads, totally chew them up, spit them out. Same exact yep. thing. No, You're paying no. less money for buying baby carrots. Done. Do Done. With, do, I would do that with apples, celery, um, 
The list goes on. Certified life hack. Yeah, certified life hack. Okay, that's sometimes, it for my hack. Sometimes, instead of even squeezing the toothpaste, I just suck a little bit out. Oh, and then start brushing my teeth. That's a good idea. Yeah. I cut out the bottom. I cut off the bottom of my toothpaste and then stick my toothbrush in it. Whoa. Oh, yeah. This man did this and I, I couldn't help but feel like <laughs> really jealous of him because I've been, I've, I've been known. I'm not pulling out a knife. Yeah. That makes total sense to me. Me too. It's yours. You're putting it's it in your, your body. Your yeah. body, your choice. I, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Guys, we're going to move over to the urban legends. Excited. I did have a lot of fun with the life hacks. I love that you had a good time. That was fun and different. Yeah. Nobody else is doing it like BNC MAP. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So I also gave everybody the opportunity to send in urban legends. Now, there was a deep, deep misconnect. I don't know if most of our followers do not speak English or if I didn't know what an urban legend was, but my, oh my, there are so many old men living in the woods behind people's houses. <laughs> like, they were like, the urban legend when I was growing up was there was an old uh, scary man. I was like. That's an urban legend. Old scary man legend? Yeah, that's like a town urban legend. A old town specific. Okay, everybody has him though. He's he's omnipresent. Did you have the headless horseman? I've heard of the headless horseman, but my I, dad said he was in my back, my personal backyard. What is up <laughs> with parents like scaring the scaring shite the out of people? Yeah. No, Brooke, let me go through these. Some of these are just like parents literally brutally yeah, kind of Yeah. Because people are like, oh, a- I, I have to pull up this one that this dude said to his girlfriend, and he was like, I've never said that out loud since I was eleven. I don't know why I said that. Um, okay. Um, okay, I found it. Me and an ex were making the bed, and I went to rip off the long ass tag off his mattress. He said, "Don't rip that off; it will tear a hole in the ozone." We stared at each other blank- blankly, and he said, "That's the first time in adulthood I've said that out loud. I guess that isn't the truth, huh?" In the ozone, we've had an entire episode about the ozone. Now that you mention it, well, the ozone was like something that we used to talk about. We constantly. used to be obsessed with the ozone. We were in our ozone era. Yeah, we were. We were kind of. Since we spent so much time on it, could you tell me what it is? Because I, there's, I there's layers to this yeah. shit. Literally. Yeah. But no, what I can't you tell say? you what it is. If you had to say what the ozone was. The ozone is a protective layer of the atmosphere that protects us. Need I go on? 100%. The ozone layer is a thin part of the Earth's atmosphere that absorbs almost all of the sun's harmful. Yeah. I, you literally said it better than Google. Legend. And I made it like accessible Legendary to more th- people. You, you did. You, Hank Green, did. Accessible information. For the masses, that's what we are all about here. Mm-hmm. Whoa, goosebumps. Whoa. <laughs> now, let's go through our bullet points, Brooke. What bullet points? The, the things that you can expect on BNCMAP. Okay. Speaking on things we know nothing about. That's bullet point number Check. one. Speaking on things we know everything about, for example, ozone. Specifically science related. Making up facts. Yeah. And just leaning into them. Mm-hmm. No, we, we sent bullet points to each other. I have to read them off. Okay. I, I don't remember where we put them. I'll put I okay. I screenshotted it. Okay. But I'm it's gonna take a while. I'll okay. just I just give up. Right okay. Now. Giving um, up. You can expect to see in giving up live action giving up on being live act you can watch us quit while we're behind. Mm-hmm. Um okay. But I do know that there's some myth with or not maybe not even a myth. On the on the mattresses they all say it is a federal offense to rip the ma- the tag off your mattress. I always thought that the police what would is- come in busting down my door if I so much as had a teeny tiny rip in that tag. No wonder, like, our parents are like the phones are listening or they're watching us. They are. Well, we've just we're just cool with it. But mm-hmm. like, that's what they were raised thinking that the mattress gods were gonna bust the door down and beat their they ass. Why does it say that? Why does it say that? Asking you why, what you can find on BNC. Wh- asking the hard hitting important question. Why what Brooke? Why was it illegal to remove the mattress tag? I'll you tell, tell you. me. As soon as the government caught on, oh, hang on. Mattress salespeople found a clever, clever workaround. Just rip the tag and sell their bacteria-filled products to unsuspecting customers. As soon as the government caught on to these re- shenanigans, they required the addition of the "do not remove" message to be included by law on every mattress tag. Now, what were the shenanigans? I don't get it. I think we lost a little bit of. I think we need context. More context. <clears throat> Here it is. Why all the drama about the silly little label? It's one of those things with an interesting backstory that begins in the early 20th century when mattress makers and sellers were engaging in some pretty shady business practices, which I I imagine they're still up to now because there's so many mattress stores. Mm -hmm. Sorry for a different day. 
At that time, mattress makers were known to cut corners by stuffing the mattresses with some pretty repulsive garbage, like discarded food, old rags, horse hair. Inevitably, this would attract lice, bed bugs, and a number of unwelcome bedfellows. It's safe to say these were not luxury mattresses. So the government had a bright idea. Let's require the manufacturers to attach labels to new mattresses, stating that all the materials were used, all the, whatever, they were new. Mattress salespeople found a clever workaround, blah, blah, blah. Do not remove. Okay. What stops me from removing it when I get it home? Not a darn thing. Not a goddamn thing. Yeah. Your mattress, your choice. Imagine if that was somebody's job, like a parking ticket officer. Bed Somebody checks. came around, knocked on your door, and had a mattress inspection for the tag. It's giving dark. Giving dark and stormy. <laughs> What's the next urban ledge? <laughs> okay. Um, that a lot of people didn't want to shower when it was l storming out because they were scared that the lightning would conduct. I'm not kidding. 50 people wrote in that they still are nervous to take showers when it's storming out. because Is the that not true? The lightning will conduct through the pipes into their shower and they'll be electrocuted. That's my favorite time Everyone to Everyone always said don't shower during the storm. Oh, I never got that. Oh my God, I got it. I didn't know you could. Could Can you? <laughs> what? I have never in my life showered during a storm. Brooke, what? That's the best time to shower. It's like being outside, but you're inside. And you know what? I never even asked why. I didn't even think about the lightning being a part. Right, I just well, said, someone said, don't shower during a storm. I said, okay. Let's go to the experts, mythbusters.com. Okay. A person can be electrocuted. Okay. A person <laughs> can be electrocuted by using the shower during a lightning storm. Yeah. Verdict? Plausible. Plausible. The dummy was not hit. A free fire, a small fire did occur, however, and the vol 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 voltmeter again blew a, f a fuse. During both experiments, small elect electromagnetic pulses interfered with the camera. Okay, so there's not enough to. It's not going to kill you. But it might. Yeah, but. it could. I would rather avoid the small electrical fire in my shower if I can. Whoa, I'm getting in. It's not a toaster the in the bathtub, F it's like a little shot. Yeah, man. Yeah. Woo! I wouldn't mind a little shock to my system every now and then. Do you remember that game? I do not understand lightning. I just want to lay that out there. <laughs> <laughs> do not understand it. You I don't don't, I don't even you try. You have to. Do you understand thunder? Brooke, you think if I don't understand lightning, I understand thunder? No, I was just asking. Uh, there's, those are two separate, like, men in the sky to me. Mm -hmm. They're... Oh, they're, they're, they're brothers. They're mythical beasts to me. I think that is, like, I cannot Greek believe mythology. they're real. Thunder? Well, I've people think that, like, I'm sure in Greek mythology or some sort of mythology, people think that Some girl wrote in and said that she was told that lightning was either- Z That's Zeus. God moving his furniture around or he was bowling. Oh. And it, when it lightninged, it means that he got a strike. And I was like, it lightnings every time it thunders, so. Yeah. Or it thunders every time it lightnings. On God. Mode. No, it li it thunders every time it lightnings. You're right. Because lightning comes- Chicken and the egg. No, lightning comes first. Because speed of light is faster than speed okay. of sound. Oh my god! Good job. I love having my thighs out on set. You always do. Yeah. No, I don't. I never wear shorts in this jaunt. Oh, I feel like I'm always looking at your smiley tattoo. Oh, here we go. How lightning develops: positive charges, negative charges, and then you know one thing leads to another, and it has. To... Oh, it's because there's a positive charge on the ground, and the negative is attracted to the positive. Are you telling me that now you get it? No. <laughs> yeah. That made it worse. Life hack, don't even try. Life hack, Joe Biden it. Don't mm -hmm. look into it. Just move move on. Move on. Try to get up those stairs. Mm -hmm. Except that there are some things that like just like, are not in your realm. No, God mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't um I wouldn't even try. So a lot of these, um this person said my grandma told me that. So the main one that we talked about is that <clears throat> if you flash your lights at somebody who has their lights off, it's a gang initiation. And if they it, like they were they're told to be initiated, they need to kill you. The first person that flashes them to turn on their lights. That's what I was. They're going to kill you. That the people with their lights off are gang members and they're waiting for the first person to flash them. And the initiation is you have to kill the people that tell you to turn your lights on the first people. And never heard that. So, you know, you, you had never heard that a lot of people wrote in and they were like, me too. I heard that too. And like it was a gang initiation thing. And then. But my parents also told me to use it to like warn people about cops so that the people that you're passing don't speed past them if they're at a speed trap. 
a lot of it is like there's a deer uh-huh. in Texas, there's a deer up there, slow down, that kind of stuff. Um, so, but like someone else wrote in and was like, yeah, my someone I know was killed in that gang, gang initiation thing. That's so Which scary. I don't know if they're messing around. But so that's gonna make it me had to be not someone flash my lights ever. I don't. Which I is, mean, I'm not gonna speak to it because I told people to bring cocaine to the airport earlier. Right. So I'm just gonna say, judgment call. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyways, my grandma told me that the beeping sound that goes off when you don't put it in your seatbelt is the car calling the police. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's that's smart on grandmas. Yeah, a behalf. lot of these are like. This one, yeah. I mean, that makes sense too. I think it's I would believe smart. That. It's so smart to lie to your kids if it's keeping them safe and the lie is not hurting anyone. Well, it gets weird when you, they leave your household and they start telling other people that. And then they hear from other people's parents and kids that like your parents are insane. And then you go back and you're just like, who are you people? You've been lying to me. I guess I'd rather be like a liar and have a weird kid than have a kid that doesn't wear a seatbelt. On God. Yeah. Skunks come out when children cry so you're, if your windows are open so you can't cry if they're open or else it'll smell like skunks. That sounds like this has this is a broken home and they don't have AC and so don't cry too loud after we beat your ass because this it'll smell bad. But why would the parents want them to cry with the windows closed? They're just saying don't cry with the windows open. Right, but why is it okay to cry with the windows closed? Because like, no one like, will hear you. Oh, that's dark. Yeah. That's so dark actually yeah. now that you mention it. My mind didn't even go there first due to darkness. No. Darkness? Mm-hmm. Why darkness? It's because it's dark. Well, who's dark? Oh, it's dark. It's dark. It's it's dark. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's dark and stormy yeah. as well. Yeah. Lightning. Okay. Milk makes your bones stronger. Calcium makes your bones stronger. Is there a lot of calcium in milk? I think that's the point of milk. So like that's this is when the disconnect started to happen with the urban legends. I think that's how 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 does goat man in in Maryland equate to bones (laughs) make your milk stronger? (laughs) Yes. We knew what you meant. You know my heart. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a good itch. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. There's no evidence that drinking milk can prevent from bone fractures or osteoporosis. There's no evidence? No. The Dairy and Bone Health Link is one of the most pervasive milk myths. One large-scale Harvard study followed 72,000 women for two decades. Followed 72,000 women for two (laughs) decades? Number one unemployed activity known to man. Leave those women alone! Also, what other milk myths are there? Oh, Brooke. I want to know about the milk myths. Let's dive into the milk myths. Let's do that in the bonus because we're kind of done this episode. The myth! Milk is full of hormones. Just not true. The myth! Milk We're doing it now. <laughs> Inaccurate. The myth. Milk is packed with additives. Dot, dot, dot. The myth. Milk causes mucus and congestion. I think that's on that's God. That's real. That's on God. Dairy. Dairy makes people me. I love milk. I don't care what it does to me. Um. Okay. Well, I can't trust any of those myths now. Mm-hmm. Oh, urban legend. Shoes hanging over a wire is where to buy drugs. Which is troubling because I just uh, threw shoes over the wire in front of my I house. I didn't know that. <laughs> They're I've still never there. heard that. I've never done it. I just like felt like I wanted to do it one day and I did it. I threw my Converse up there. It was freeing. I felt like Stanley Were Yelnats. Were those shoes? Oh, I love them. I wanted to get them down right away. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. Sometimes it helps to think. For a second longer oh, sometimes. Okay. Are you preaching to me? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm giving you a life hack. Let's wrap up. Yeah. Let's do some more in the bonus. Guys, c- everyone, let's congratulate Alex Earl for being crowned Queen of Wawa. Yes. Queen, go off. Let's absolutely go. Yes. I you can, can we- be happy for someone and also disappointed that you're not the queen. Yeah. That's, I guess that's how I feel. Yeah. I'll I'm not the next- that. Like I wanna I wanna I wanna win something. I wanna be king of Oh, I'm King of Venice. Never oh yeah, mind. you are King of Venice Beach. <laughs> Never mind. I, I rest my case. Yeah, you are King of Venice um, Beach. Okay, well, we've got so much to cover. Yeah. Oh, I'm and- going to Wawa next week. That's why I brought that up. Because I'm gonna be in I'm going right on the Jersey Turnpike. Oh, Connor. Yeah, I'm 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 Vlog it. I'm oh my I'm starting I'm you know what? Mark my fucking words, you guys. Sorry, I'm I'm closing with a cuss word. Because I'm fired up. I'm starting my YouTube channel and I'm sticking to it this time. I know. 
I go, yes. <laughs> I'm doing it this time. Yes. I put it in my goals for my next year of life. Well, you're saying it here, so manifest. Life hack. My YouTube channel is going to pop off. Bye, guys. We'll see Bye, you Bye, guys. See you in the bonus. This week on Close Friends. <sighs> just got sad. Because of goats. Shoplift from somewhere, Brooke. I can't. Shouldn't have to. It's 2020. We put a man on the moon and we have to put our hands in our ass to get poop out. Sorry, that's gross. You know what? It feels so good when that happens, though. That's a life hack. Be so stupid that when you finally get something right, it feels really good. Yeah. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.